Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Christine George and welcome to another episode of Treat the Pain. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be focusing on pain as much as we'll be focusing on flexibility. I had a few patients ask me about how to be, uh, how to be more flexible to be better dancers, better gymnasts, to have more range of motion, and to not feel as stiff. So this one's for a little bit of a younger crew, and we're going to be talking about flexibility. Flexibility is very helpful in that, it'll, in that it'll keep you moving, it'll keep that range of motion, which is great for your joints. Stretching has been shown to relieve tension, to relieve stress. It has been shown to help ligaments, joints, and it's also been shown to reduce pain. So I guess in that aspect, we'll be tackling pain as well. But for the most part, we're going to be really focusing on stretching and flexibility today. I can't wait to show, to show you what we'll be doing. We'll see you in a bit. Welcome back everyone. So today we're, I'll be working with Clara. She is a dental student and we're going to be discussing a little bit of flexibility, actually performing a little bit of flexibility stretches. The first one is super basic. We've done this one earlier. Ready? Okay. Let's do this. I'm just going to have you seated on the ground, legs out. Just start super mild and just try to go ahead and touch your toes. Lean forward, bend all the way down. We're gonna just start with that super basic stretch. It's a little pike. You're gonna hold that for a few seconds. There we go. Look, look go ahead and keep facing down. Excellent, hold. One, two, three, slowly release. The next one we're gonna do is a QL stretch. So you're gonna go ahead and have your legs spread out just a little bit. Other side, perfect. So I'm gonna join you in this one. This one feels great. You're gonna go ahead and spread out. You're gonna have one knee on your hand. You're gonna lift the other one, and you're gonna lean to the side. You should be feeling that stretch right on your side. Good, good, hold that for a little bit. Excellent, go ahead and go into the other side. You always wanna be even. Yep, hold, 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 good. Now, this one's a little harder, so be patient with me. We're gonna do something known as a pigeon pose. Okay, so the pigeon pose, let's have you move to the side just for a sec. You're gonna have one leg back and one leg bent. Okay. Ready? Let's have you do that. So, one leg bent. Yep, and one leg back, all the way back. Yep, so you're gonna go ahead and face me. You wanna keep your posture squared, so your hips wanna be squared. Perfect, you're gonna hold that position. That's a really nice deep stretch, it'll stretch the hips. Now slowly lean forward towards me. You can use your hands for support if you'd like. Lean all the way down. That one goes, that gives us an even deeper stretch. You can use this stretch to help prepare you for a split. Hold that for a few seconds. One, two, three. Slowly stand back out. Try to get out of that position, it's a little bit tough. There we go. If you feel really tight, just always go ahead and do that little shaking. I like to call it the shake off. And just round your legs to help shake that little stretch to intensity out. Excellent. Now the second part, you're gonna go ahead and do what we call a half split. You're gonna go on one knee. Good. Now you're gonna bring one leg out. Excellent. Now you're gonna just bring your nose to your knees. Slowly lean down. This one's really, really hard, but this one's great at stretching the hamstrings out. And you can even bring your feet forward and back. So point them and, bring them and flex them. That's a really good way to get a really deep stretch in there. You can put your hands by your side if you can. Go ahead, continue, continue. There we go. Remember, we're gonna always do both sides. So you might have to do the pigeon pose on the other side. Uh -huh. If you can, go ahead. Okay. Good, good, good positioning. Good positioning, hold, hold. Now slowly lean down, excellent. You're gonna hold that position for a little bit. Make sure the hips are square, they're not as square. There we go, perfect. You're gonna hold, hold, hold. Now slowly come back up. Yep, now we're gonna do the half split. Or you shake it off first. There we go, excellent. Now go ahead and do the half split for me. So the other leg, excellent. Nose to knee. And down we go. And always stretch the ankles out, yep. Yep, good, good. Now slowly release. Finally, if you're feeling 
really tight and really uncomfortable, we're gonna do another exercise. We've talked about it before, but that it's a still a great exercise. It's known as the cat cow. So you're gonna go on all fours. Right there, yup. Got this down. Make sure your knees are, are, are hips width apart. Good. Elbows nice and straight. Nope, straight. Bend forward. Yep. Now slowly lift your back up. Try to push my fingers off your back. Gonna hold that. Now slowly dip your fingers in, dropping the belly and look up. So that's the cow. Lift again. That's the cat. Always make sure you're breathing. And then drop the belly. Look straight. That's the cow. We do a couple of rounds of that to really help with that flexibility and the stretching. And how are you feeling with that? Feel good. Perfect. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome back everyone. So we went ahead and went over a few flexibility stretches. So with these flexibility stretches, some were more about the hips, so a little lower, and, and some were more about the general spine. Think cat cow, it's pretty general up here. With these stretches, these are great to increase range of motion. These are great stretches for gymnasts, dancers, those who are more athletic. It's a really safe way to, to increase your range of motion and to increase your flexibility. Remember, stretches are great for stress, for tension, for flexibility, even for pain. However, never stretch past your tolerance. We don't want you to injure your joints or ligaments. Make sure you drink water, stay warm. So before you start any stretches, always do like a couple of jumping jacks to get blood flowing. Don't stretch cold, because that could also increase risk of injury. If you are injured or feeling a lot of pain, talk to your doctor. Don't wait on the pain. Protect yourself and protect your spine. And finally, I hope you do well. I hope, you're, I hope you stay healthy and I'll see you in the next episode.